Good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. And I'm Kai, and today we're going to be looking at some banger Halloween costumes. Only the best. Uh, we uh, took our pick of the best Halloween costumes we could find, and you guys are going to help us choose ours from the best of the best. This Only is definitely not a bit. It's not. It's not a bit. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, look, them over, we'll look over some of them after news. Amy Coney Barrett was sworn in to be a Supreme Court Justice by fellow Justice Clarence Thomas on October 26, 2020 at the South Lawn of the White House last night. According to CNN, the ceremony at the White House will only exacerbate the fury of Democrats who feel Republican maneuvering stole two Supreme Court seats. It will inexorably drag the court further into toxic political combat that has already tainted its reputation for nonpartisanship. The Supreme Court has reaffirmed a block on Wisconsin's plan which, which would have allowed ballots in the state to arrive at least six days after Election Day. Democrats believe that extra days are needed because postal delays could make voters careless. Re meanwhile, Republicans argue that the deadline extension threatens the integrity of the election by changing these rules. An NPR analysis found tens of thousands of primary ballots that were rejected due to not arriving on time earlier this year. Wisconsin was one of three cases before the Supreme Court interfered with the mail-in ballot deadlines. In North Carolina, Republicans asked the court to intervene after the state sucked a mail-in ballot nine days after Election Day. Another case had an evenly divided court in Pennsylvania that declined the Republicans' request, in which they wanted to stop the state from counting ballots three days after Election Day. All of these cases are part of a legal fight between parties over these rules of mail-in voting. More than 62 million Americans have put in their votes early in which it is expected to be a record for elections. Although Democrats succeeded in adjusting these rules, they've recently been defeated by the Republicans in the Supreme Court in Alabama and Texas. On Monday, October 26, 2020, the U.S. Marshals arrested 179 people and located 45 missing children after a month-long investigation called Operation Autumn Hope. In total, 109 human trafficking victims have been rescued. Peter Tobin, U.S. Marshal for the Southern District of Ohio, released a statement saying, My thanks to all personnel who I have stepped up to this operation. I know Operation Autumn Hope has made a difference in a lot of young lives. This operation is just the most recent in a series of recovery events. In August, Operation Safety Net, also in Ohio, rescued 25 children in Georgia. Operation not Forgotten rescued 39 children in Indiana. Operation Homecoming rescued eight children in September. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, you can now submit your senior quote. Go to ESM yearbook.org and click on Senior Quotes for the rules and the link to the submit your quote, due by November 24th. If you have any questions, contact yearbook at esmschools.org. The sweet 16 of words we never wanted to hear again is off to a good start. On our Twitter poll Monday, respondents overwhelmingly voted for essential worker as the words you would never want to hear again. Today's matchup features sorry we are out of toilet paper versus sports are canceled. Coming back, we thought we would kick it off with um, hand sanitizer. We figured we'd keep with the COVID and, you know, COVID-themed uh, Halloween costume because uh, we cannot get it out of our lives. Uh, secondly, we figured we'd look at uh, Sonic the Hedgehog OCs. Um, for those who are fortunate enough to not know what those are, um... So basically, uh, you look up your name and then the hedgehog. Like Sonic. Like Sonic. And you'll find some, like, crappy uh, drawing that an 11 year old did of like a hedgehog in the styling of Sonic with your name and probably not very many clothes. Uh, we found ours. Mine is really, really fat and he's doing Gangnam style. Uh, mine is not as entertaining as his, uh, but he does look like he's trying to be James Bond. Uh, it's, it's, it's real bad. It's bad. Uh, we encourage you to look up your own, unless you don't want to, which don't. Uh, but we will look at a couple more uh, ideas after uh, weather. Good morning. Today we'll have a high of 46 with a few showers in the late evening. Wednesday will clear up to show some sun with a high of 55. Thursday and Friday we should expect some rain showers with a chance of snow on Friday. 
while Halloween night has sunshine and a high of 46. Sunday and Monday, we should expect some cold temperatures with some chance of snow on Monday. I'm Emily with your weather. Coming back, we thought we would go with um, each other's brothers. Uh, yeah, and if you don't know each other, uh, our brothers, um, this could really, this uh, type of costume could really throw some people off, since our brothers are both very tall. And look nothing like us. They don't look like us, so I feel like we could really confuse some people. Uh, next up, we figured we'd go with anything politically charged at all. We know, we know you guys really want to hear about our political opinions and how much we care about them. Yeah, because you care so much about our political opinions. I can own the libs. I would love to own the comms. Uh, but, you know, uh, other than that, there's not really many other Halloween costume ideas we've had, so uh, maybe you guys can help us decide after it's fourth. Yeah. Last night, boys soccer won one to nothing in overtime. Also, field hockey won 2-1 to one against Weedsboro. Goals was scored by Riley White to Myla Hogan. And there you go. Our second. In upcoming news, Cross Country has a home meet tonight against Cortland. In NFL, the Los Angeles Rams beat the Chicago Bears last night 24-10. The Rams' defense shut down the Bears' offense with two interceptions and four sacks. The only touchdown scored by the Bears was their safety, Eddie Jackson, who scored off of a fumble recovery. In MLB, due to the shortened 2020 season, MLB is in $8.3 billion debt. MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred said that the 30 teams are in debt from their different lenders, and they are expected to post between 2.8 to 3 million Three billion in operations losses this year. Tonight's game, six of the World Series, is on as the Los Angeles Dodgers try to win their first world title in 32 years. Starting pitchers tonight are Blake Snell for the Tampa Bay Rays and Tony Gonsolin for the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch is at 8:08. And I'm Aiden with your sports. Please walk up to me and tell me your political opinion. Please walk up to him and tell him your political opinion. I'd and, love to hear and it. And please have a great day. Have a great day.